What is up, guys? We're going to be trying to complete every single drift section in the game. We're going to figure out the best way to do it. Let's get it, bro. So first thing you should know, it'll tell you in the top left if there are any drift sections there. And you know that uh, you have a couple to complete. Like in this one, Palm City Raceway, there's two. And I already, made, I already completed them, but we're going to go over them again. So that's a good place to start. Let's start with that. Um, I can actually start with a build. Let's do that first. Use the Mazda RX-7. I'm going to have the uh, 562 horsepower 3.8 liter V8. And we're going to run Ultimate Plus Parts Dual Turbo. 5x3 pound NOS. I don't use NOS when I'm drifting, so it's not really not really uh, applicable. But here's my drift build for the Mazda. So I've got super speed cross suspension, uh, elite brakes, and then I've got elite drag tires, elite plus clutch, super five speed gearbox, and then the pro drift differential with, uh, I'm gonna do repair kits because we're probably gonna run into some stuff tonight and then uh, nitrous duration, which doesn't really matter. So the three keys to the build are speed cross suspension, drag tires, and pro drift differential. Now this is for an automatic setup. If you're um, if you're not a manual driver, this is this is going to be the best build for you if you're you're uh, automatic guy. If you're a manual, you can switch everything to speed cross, and it becomes a little harder. But um, something that you can do is change the tires to speed cross and the differential to speed cross and then you've got yourself a nice build as well it's actually my favorite drift section to, to run because it's it's the one i usually test go into it kind of slow with the rx7 it spins quick all right there we go a nice uh left trigger will make this car transition which is nice you don't have to use the e-brake but if you need it to turn quick you can e-brake it Oh, missed the checkpoint. Let's go back. Let's just go get it. Since we've got this car, we got plenty. Plenty of score, bro. This thing scores like crazy. 97,000. Easy three stars, baby. Easy three stars. Also, another tip with this one is that uh, the longer you're at this area of the map, the more cars spawn, the more traffic you're going to have to deal with. So that's not what you want to deal with all right we got this one here hairpin smoke let's get into it wasn't much of a lead in but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it much better bro again you want to use the left trigger when you when you want to transition because this car definitely transitions better with your left trigger instead of the instead of the handbrake. And then we just keep this nice long drift going. There we go. Look at this, baby. Let's go. Let's go. We'll extend it a little bit for some more score. 176, baby. Let's go. Let's go to Eden Shores. We got three drift zones in Eden Shores. Let's head over to this one because this is the circle building. There you go. Hit the checkpoint. I like to go wide because then you can cut it in if you see cars. You can go wide again. Get away from the cars. If you take a perfect circle, sometimes a car will be in your way. You know what I mean? But you want to go all the way around the dome. Get that checkpoint. Oh. See, this is not very clean, but it's going to work. It's going to work. It's going to get me some score, bro. I entered that corner a little bit funky, but this car really helps. 197, baby. So that's enough to get three star on that one. Easy. Let's head over to Drifting Islander. There we go. There we go. Oh my goodness. Go wide, cut in, bro. Gotta gotta avoid the traffic. Eighty-two, three stars. Let's go. Next one in Eden Shores is. Is this in Eden Shores? 
Uh, yes. Set over. Sandy tires. 70,000 is what you need for this one. Alright, no, no traffic. That's nice. Oh my gosh, can I can I get out of this dirt? Oh jeez. All right, this is not a not a clean drift, but with this car, it's gonna work out. We need some more speed, bro. There we go. Let's see if we can make this one clean. Dang it. I mean, I'm already way over. I'm already way over. This car is just too good. Anyway, that's not my favorite drift zone, but it gets it done. That's an easy 100k with this car. All right, so we got down, we got uh, Palm City Raceway, we got Eden Shores. Let's go up on the map. So we're gonna do all of this stuff up here. So let's do the Palm City one. Uh, Palm City, so we need to do this guy. Not very far away. Let's get over there. Uh, 51 that's better we'll take it bro let's head to the next one in downtown palm city so we still have oh there's only two in downtown palm city there's this one up here all right here we go parking lot king they gotta just follow the parking lot this is weird though You really got to use your brakes here. Super simple with this car though. Blown away. I think you only need to get 15,000. All right, so that's everything in downtown Palm City. So we've done Palm, uh, Palm City Raceway, downtown Palm City, Eden Shores. So let's go up here to West Side. West Side has two drift sections. So one right here. There we go. This tow truck. I knew that tow truck was gonna be a problem, bro. I knew that car was gonna be a problem. Here we go. Let's see if we can hit this one. Oh man, I'm I'm bad with the brakes, not gonna lie. Right, there we go. That was much better though. Nice and calm, cool and collected. 114. We can do a lot better than that. But that's good enough. Alright, this one's called. Water leak. 40k. Here we go. But we're gonna run it the other way just in case it's easier. There we go. And then turn it. Dude, these these arrows are weird, dude. Eighty-nine. I'll take it. That's how you want to do it. Let's go. That's West Side. We got all the drift zones in West Side. Let's do Bay Bayview Park. There's three over here. All right, let's do this one. Here we go. This one's about controlling your speed, bro. That's definitely the way to go. 59,000, all you need to do on this one is actually 30, so that's double the score. It's plenty. That's all you need, bro. Three stars, boom. This one is called Gotta Skid. Oh, too much. Too much drift. Let's 
It's enough. 79k for three stars. It's enough! This one's called... Golf Club Trial. Here we go. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this very smoothly, but we're going to try. Hey, that wasn't half bad, dude. 72k, not half bad, dude. All right, so we're done with uh, Baby Park, bro. Done with Baby Park. So we started here, we went up and around. Let's head over to Sandpiper Forest. There are two here, so here's one. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's get this flow, baby, let's get this flow. There we go, there we go. This is nice. I mean, it's it could be better, but I'll take it. Oh, I don't want to touch that truck. There we go. Let's slow it down a little bit. Let's get some points. We gotta pass the finish line. There we go. 130. That's called three stars. You only need 65 on that one. And the next one in this little section is actually way down here. Watch out for traffic. Oh man. Oh dude, this road is tiny, bro. This road is tiny. We gotta slow it down. We got our four times multiplier. Oh, we're going outside. Come on, come on. There we go. We got more than enough, but this road is tiny. This is gonna give some people some problems for sure. 80,000, I think that's better. All right, so that's everything in Sandpiper Forest, right? Yes, it is. So we need to do Cloud Bank. Summer Drifter. Bro, that's, that's not fun. I'm sorry you got COVID. Being sick at all really just, really just ruins the mood, right? It just ruins your day. I mean, it does for me, for sure. 72, baby, let's go. Crazy sled ride, 50K, here we go. So because I'm making a video, I wanna make it as easy as possible for people who don't know how to drift really well. Cause like, I'm not the best drifter, you know? But, I know how to three-star all of the events, and I think I can help some people who don't necessarily know. Sometimes you gotta just slow down, bro. Stop and smell the roses, you know what I mean? Up is definitely better on this one. Boom, 120. That was nice, that was very clean. I'll take it. I think we're done with Cloud Bank. Let's go Rockville. There's two here. So let's do, oh, this is an off-road one. I just kinda, I just kinda decided that I was gonna do a stream like this. You know? Um, but yeah, man, I'll, I'll hit you up on on, uh, on Discord if I have an idea that I think you can help with, maybe. Oh yeah, this is easy, bro. Dirt, no problem. 84, let's go. That was cracking dust. 50,000 is all you need on that one. Oh, where's the other one? in this area here it is one with nature we need 55k for this one all right we might want to go downward on this one i would say 100 percent go for it oh i knew i was gonna hit the the railing there so i slowed down we're gonna make this nice buttery drift though Much better, bro. 107. Uh, let's go down to Fort Callahan.
That's what I'm talking about, 72, baby! Makes me laugh, dude. That's hilarious. Dude, that checkpoint is in a stupid spot, I'll be honest. Why? Why put that there? 42k. It's fine. That's it for Fort Callahan. Let's head over to Blackwood Heights. This one is called... Jacko Lumber. Ninety five, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is called Stuck Between the Rocks. We're gonna try it the other direction. Much nicer. We get a drift? So thank you. 58k. So go up on that one. That one's going to be a little challenging for a lot of people, I think. 58k is not bad, but I definitely could have done that better. Blackwood Heights is done. Let's go down to Edgewood Valley. Two on Edgewood Valley. One at the mall. This one at the mall is pretty, pretty fun. Riders Republic seems pretty cool. This one, you just kind of take extensions, bro. A little bit of grass never hurt nobody. 95, baby! Let's go. That's uh, no shopping zone. All right, the other one over here is this one. All right, here we go. Oh, this is... That's not good. All right, this one, you got to kind of ride the dirt a little bit here. Ride the dirt a little bit, bro. Sorry, I hit that guy at the end. No big deal. But you're good, dude. 88,000 for that one. Drifting Cowboy over in Edgewood Valley. All right, Edgewood Valley is done. Let's get over to Frontera Hills since we're right here. I'm still not going fast enough to keep this drift all the way down this hill. 121 will do, maybe. Let's let's go. That's that's good enough. It's getting downhill. That is good enough. All right, where are we at? Frontier Hills. There's only one over in Frontier Hills. So we are done with that one. All right, Fairfield Fields. Let's get this done. There's only one here as well. It is over here. Would I change the drift physics? Definitely, because the uh, the drift parts don't help you drift. So, yeah, I would definitely change the drift physics. One ten, that's better, baby. 
All right. Uh, I think that's it for Fairview. Fairview, Fairview Fields. Did I do Sentino, Sentino Ranches yet? I didn't. All right, so let's do that one. We've got this guy right here. You don't need to be qualified to tell us what your favorite is. That is true. I go again. Okay. You got me there. That's better. 58. A lot of speed on this one, guys. A lot of speed into the turns. A lot of speed. Bro, this is like super high speed section down here. Oh, get that checkpoint. 64. I'll take it. All right, that is countryside tire smoke. All right, uh, we're done with Sandino Ranches. We got Granada Wetlands. We got Cape Castile, Port Murphy, and Mendoza Keys. I think that's it. Port Murphy, there's two of them. Where are they at, though? Here's one. Okay, this is called Coal Drift. Coal Drift, bro. You can kind of go slow with this one. You don't have to go fast. And you can get some you can get some points. 45, baby, let's go. This one's called Shun was here. There you go, 20k. Let's go. All right, we did Port Murphy, we did Fairview, we did Sandino, we did Granada. Did we do Granada? No, we didn't do Granada. Let's do it. All right, so we got this curvy road up here. Right here. What did I say this one's called? Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here, dude. Easy peasy. All right, so that's it for Granada Wetlands. Easy peasy. All right, Cape Castile has two. One's right there. All right, this is Space Traveler. Here we go. Oh, wait, how many do we need? 30,000. All right, that's... Bro, that's so easy. Thirty-nine, baby. That's how you do it. Where's the other Cape Castile? It's in here. All right, this one's called Abandoned Grounds. So this one, in the dirt, still not bad to do with the Arc Seven. Your target's only 50k, and it's pretty it's pretty simple to do with with this car. Can't go too far off this dirt path though, otherwise it'll mess you up. 120, I'll take it. All right, Cape Castile is done. Last one we need to do is Mendoza Keys. Some of these ones in Mendoza Keys can be tricky. Cylinder stairs. Let's go over there. Forty-five. All right, that's good. This is called uh, Brotherhood Drive. All right, here we go.
We want to flip it back and then flip it back and then full throttle that. There we go. Now just don't hit this house. You can hit everything but that building. There we go. Boom. 39. So that's how you do it. That's it, dude. That's all the drift sections on the entire map. Hey, before I go, shout out to all the Heat 5 members of the channel. If you want to see your name up here with the rest of these legends, all you have to do is click the join button below and become a Heat 5 member. By doing this, you'll be supporting the channel in ways you will not believe. And you get all kinds of sweet perks like members only streams and specific exclusive Discord channel access. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Trigger out.